Jesus also gave us some important words related to this need to forgive when he said this in Matthew 7. Do not judge or you will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And as you me- the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye, when all the time there's a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. I want you to underline that last verse. You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Jesus says don't judge. Jesus says get healthy and help others. Stop judging. Stop sitting on the sidelines. Stop sitting there judging others. Just get healthy and then help others. Jesus doesn't say, oh, okay, don't ever help anybody because you're messed up. That's how we read the passage and we go, oh, I'm, I'm never going to challenge anybody in their forgiveness or because I'm messed up. Jesus would say we're all messed up and we all just sit here with our hands. That's not what he's saying. That's not what he says at the end. He says, hey, deal with it. Get the plank out of your eye so you can help other people who only have specks in their eye. Okay? He says, when we humbly engage in this type of self-awareness and when we follow through with it, we're not only getting free ourselves and giving someone else a key to be set free, we're also then able to help other people in the body of Christ understand what forgiveness is and to walk the road of forgiveness, to one another, do a one another, forgiving one another, helping one another, forgive and walk in this pathway of forgiveness. Self-awareness in the Bible is called promptings or nudges or whispers of the Spirit of God and often comes to us when we're in worship, when we're in the Word of God, when we're offering up our offering to God and He speaks to us and says, this needs to be dealt with. I dealt with it on the cross. You have all the power to do it. Go and do it. 